Hi, welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you a gameplay video. I haven't done a gameplay video in a minute, and I've been getting a lot of people asking me about gameplay videos. Some people nicer than others, um, but you know what I mean? I'm, I would like to put out more gameplay videos, but they don't nearly get the views that uh, my other videos do, like my, my, my money play videos and my tip videos. Those all get thousands and thousands and thousands. Um, where my gameplay videos might crack a G. So if you guys want to see gameplay, more gameplay, do me a favor, hit the like button, maybe even share it. You know what I'm saying? I would love to be Toker or, I, or I Maverick, but I'm not. So my videos, you know, I know what people want from me. Uh, but like I said, I've had some people in the comment section lately like, yo, man, what gameplay? Some people even accuse me my schemes don't work. So this is in direct, um, you know, right back at you. This is this, this. Well, the funny part is the scheme that I run in this. It's not because of people, uh, you know, necessarily calling me out about it but this is one of the schemes that i had somebody really like snarky and shouting out like why well, i don't put gameplay out with it but this is this is the scheme right here that they were talking about and it just happens to be my favorite scheme that i know works you know what i mean so um this one you actually see quite a bit but it's out of the saints I'm using the saints playbook i'm playing draft uh champions i'm not sorry not draft champions much salary but um it's really up to you guys if you want to see this if you want to see draft champs let me know um, I like playing them both. Draft Champions right now is the one that, if you want to qualify for the Madden tournament, uh, you should be playing. But I wanted to make one with these two safeties that I got. Man, I got the new uh, Cam Chancellor from Mutt Heroes. I just completed him, and I wanted to put him in a video because I also got Steve Atwater. Those guys both come up very big late in this game, man. These guys, I call them the Bass Brothers, man. Both six foot three, and they're both hit power machines at 92 and 95, respectively. I just had to get them into gameplay. I had to play games with them. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm just in love with them, man. Uh, but either way, this play right here, uh, this is a, uh, a one-play touchdown play I'm really trying to work out. I try to roll out to the left, but, uh, you know, there's two guys there, and you really need to roll out in the direction that that play is going. I get that play to work later, so uh, keep an eye out for that. If I ever get that down 100%, I'll put it in a video for you guys. I have a couple of one-play touchdowns out already, but I'm always looking for more, obviously, because, you know, they're not always in every playbook. Uh, but this Saints playbook is just so fire. So here you can see, I mean, I'm using pretty much the same plays over and over. This guy has no answer for him. The adjustments that I'm making, I mean, there's just so many different ways to run this play that is successful. Uh, but you can't be successful with a guy like Peppers, man. He just keeps shutting it down. I think by the end of this game, he has like three sacks. I mean, he really... Uh, lights it up this play here I, lay, I play maker up at the running back and that's just you know uh, epic adjustment gets down to the two it was like second and 16 and that gets all the way down to the two i try to get too smart here uh by basically taking this running back the other way and then i also realized it's not even my starting running back i didn't need my blocker good either that whole play was just a disaster from the start so here i go with the mess double drags this play here is usually pretty good for a couple yards and I almost get picked off by the computer i gotta be smart in that third and goal i come out in, in a double drag look again or something i'm not even sure what it was but uh, i see leaves these huge gaps for me to run right up the center so i just i just audible take my chance i can run for a yard even though the audible was a bad adjustment uh this play right here this is a blitz uh, set up it works really good you can see the guy shoots through there but he was running in the opposite direction i run this blitz which i haven't put out yet but i run it a couple different times uh but this guy throughout the game he just gets rid of the ball so fast like blitzes don't do anything so here second and two i send the house um he doesn't get the first so now i got a third and one he once again he's just thinking and dunking me to death this guy really has a conservative check down uh it's a frustrating way a guy to play against for the for real when somebody's digging and dunking you and running the ball the way this guy does um he has a lot of success with it but at some point um you got to dial it up here that's a blitz i came up with on the spot and it worked out really good um i might have to lab that a little bit later. i'm trying to come up with some more blitz plays um like i said i have one that i'm definitely planning on putting out uh, out of the four six you can see me right doing it right here i adjust the linebacker I bring him over it's supposed to get this other linebacker in but he's getting out to the flat so quick it doesn't even matter so uh that's so that's how you beat the blitz man you, you just gotta you gotta get it to the flats you gotta dink and dunk you gotta get out to get you know hit the drags and this guy's just beating the blitz with uh with precise uh passing so here we go i'm trying to switch it up get some heat uh, i don't like the look because he's under he's not under center so i switch it up last second and once again he's beating me to the flats i think i know exactly what route that is too it's one of my more favorite routes it's just a really hard to defend route so he's he's driving this is his first drive so typically that's when it's hardest to stop people when you don't know what they like to do i'm noticing he just likes to start he's running inside zone so i go to my three three five and uh, on that last play, I run through the rest of the series, the three through five, with a few simple adjustments. Shuts down the run. As you can see right there, um, he's got nowhere to go. Come out of three through five again. This time I'm manning the running back so he can't dink and dump me to the sideline. He doesn't have anywhere to go. And I get the sack. My man gets the shed. 
um, you know, puts uh, puts Rivers down. So there we go. Forced the field goal. I'm happy about that. Like I said, the first series is typically the hardest series to stop. Now I know what the guy likes to do a little bit, so I can adjust uh, accordingly. Uh, I'm still trying to work uh, this exact same scheme. I mean, this is I don't really need much more than this. It's just so successful. It's not successful in the way that I expect, though. Here he's got a man, so I know right away the triangle route's the way to go. I had the guy over the middle, too, but I go with the safe read. I mean, that read right there obviously was a good play. Uh, so now I'm trying. I'm going to do the exact same play, but I'm going to try to do that one-play touchdown. That one-play touchdown play is actually really effective against cover or against cover three. And this is a cover two, and I keep making the mistake of hoping that he runs a. It's a cover three. It just looks like a cover two, like it was <laughs> like a cover three show four or something. And uh, I get sacked again. So I keep trying for it, even though it's not there. This looks like more like a cover three, but I'm not in that same formation. So this play here is so money. I mean, uh, this play is just that route and the next route I throw to because I'm running a hurry up are just, uh, they're just damn near unstoppable. They just get open all the time. And the tight end gets open on this play. Um, and this whole play, everybody gets open on this play. I put this play out, I call it a 100% completion play, because it is. Everybody here gets open. As you can see, the R1 route here is just wide open. I, tr I turn it in too dramatically because I didn't want to go out of bounds, um, and I turn right back into the tackle. If I could have turned up a little bit straighter, I might have been able to score. But I get down to the two, no timeouts, not really too worried about it. I make no adjustments here. I typically make an adjustment, but I try to go for this, this square route. He's there, it just doesn't hang on to it. Um, you know, I'm saying that that becomes an issue here. Here we go. Uh, I'm basically making up a play right now. This is not a goal line play. I'm frazzled. You can see the the, the, the shot clock down <laughs> to red every time I'm getting the ball here. I try to hit the crossing tight end. He doesn't hold on to it either. Once again, you can see I'm, I'm hurrying to the line with three seconds. I'm going with the double drags. No adjustments. No time for it. And I get a small gap. Uh, when my dude finally hangs on to the ball. So that was clutch. I had a minute to go, went down, scored. I knew the guy was getting ball, so I kind of had to. Um, so here we go. We're working another another blitz. Um, doesn't really work out, but I'm, I'm in position to almost pick it off. But I was stuck on the DT, which wasn't the plan. I was just making my adjustments, and he called the play. So I had to cover with who I had. If I had a linebacker, man, that would have been my ball right there. But here's what it is. So the guy keeps going back to his dink and dunk offense. I had great coverage on my guy there, but you know what I'm saying? That's that's the thing about those drags, man. They just show up when you're not there. Uh, but you can do that. I mean, I'm up two scores. I know how this game mode goes. There's only a couple minutes uh, in each quarter. So you can do that as much as you want. Trying to get that big hit stick fumble twice. The first one didn't work out. It was too far away. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out the timing of these safeties. But... Um, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they're definitely uh, definitely having some nice tackling out there. Uh, there we go. He, he's running the ball now. I, I think i got to go back to my 3 through 5 You can see there I get the big hit stick with Cam. You know what I'm saying? I love having these hitting safeties, man. It's just, I, you guys know me. I love defense. So here we go. Uh, he's still hitting me in the flats, but my defense is playing a little bit tighter. Uh, you know, I'm, still, I'm figuring out what he likes to do, so I'm calling the audibles, the adjustments for it. Um, I think I'm back in my 3 3 5 I'm not really sure. Uh, but here he gets a little bit impatient. Chucks it up in the face of pressure and Cam Chancellor. You can't throw it up over a guy six foot three, man. You know what I'm saying? You just can't. Like this, this is just not a good look. And, and he comes down with it. So that's why I like these guys, man. No, other, other than their hit power, their size, I mean, it's just phenomenal. Every salary game I do, I will have those two safeties out there patrolling deep. And you're going to see how this is just going to be a shutdown defense. So here I finally, uh, this is that one play touchdown play I was telling you about. Works out, but since I was throwing on the run, I just didn't get the loft or the catch and run. I mean, that's John Ross, and somehow he doesn't get away. But it is what it is. I mean, I was trying to seal the deal. Uh, I can seal the deal by killing the clock, though. So now I'm just basically going to run the ball. You know, I was trying to get to the point where I wanted to make him quit. If I had scored another touchdown, I think he would have quit. But I can play it both ways, man. I can try to make him quit, or I can just kill clock. And as you can see there, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing that same toss play. Here, I hit him with that inside play. Didn't read my block too good, though. The, the, the blocking was to the left, up the middle. Uh, it is what it is. So here we go, second and eight. I'm going, um, you know, this is one of my more favorite plays. Uh, I'm really just looking to kill clock. So like I said, my plan here is just to hit the running back in the flat. But there's a guy out there right away. So I roll out, and I'm looking for something. I decide to throw it up, and I almost let the guy back in the game. Uh, so I go back to my, you know, the exact same play because I believe in it. I'm thinking running back all the way. I move this receiver out of the way. Just an in-game adjustment. I'm thinking if I take that defender, that receiver out of the way, the defender won't be there like he was last time. And sure enough, he's wide open in the flats. And I get exactly what I want. So I hit that and my blocking tight end, which is there. That's the purpose of him being there. You know what I'm saying? Just just have that dude 
in the same direction he's going to block. I uh, get a little bit too smart, though. <laughs> so go for the screen on the goal line. I don't know what I was thinking. There's Peppers with another sack. I told you, that guy just beast this whole game. I'm going to have to go pick him up. He was whooping my left tackle's ass, uh, which is funny because I, I think it's just, I think it might be, I might have to improve my left tackle to be real about it. So here we get down to the one again. I'm not going to get cute this time, though. I just give it to the to the goal line, uh, pretty much the goal line play, and just do the toss and, you know, no trouble. So uh, 21 to 3. War of Attrition here. I'm still doing that blitz. Um, and it gets picked up again. Uh, you know, I just I think Max Pro definitely will give it issues. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll perfect it when I do. I'll get it to you guys. Uh, some I'm still working on. He's you know in a hurry up mode now. Obviously, I mean I don't even know why he's still playing. It doesn't have much much of a chance. Um, here he's just gonna chuck it up in the face of pressure again. And this time my man, my man uh, Steve Atwater with the pick. I mean. You know, you can't you can't beat that, man. These, these these safeties are going to control this for a long time, and that's the quitter. Uh, I wouldn't stick around either. So if you guys want to see more gameplay, do me a favor, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.